welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new camera and welcome back to another quick pick fight prediction video in this video i'll be predicting the welterweight bout between matthew Smelsberger versus martin sano so i said welterweight right but um yeah as you can see i don't know how this quality gonna feel with y'all it'll kind of you know i'm not i'm just trying to get a feel for myself look a little bit different i don't know if it's better worse showing too much because it's a much improved camera but uh, i don't know but back to the prediction but also yeah but welcome back um <laughs> yeah 37 minutes in but this is really gonna be a quick prediction because it's like really not a whole lot to dig into this one so you i can mess around early on and still get this out quick but again a lot of talking but again gonna be quick regardless and you're gonna get your prediction it's gonna be out of here but um matt Smellberger, matt Smellsberger versus martin sano how's this one um I was trying to look at Sano a little bit deeper and say, oh, maybe there's a reason why he's here and maybe he got better, maybe this and maybe that. But as far as I've seen, it's not like maybe what he did or done, maybe he knows somebody, trained with somebody, and it's behind the scenes. Because what I've seen from his fight, he had a fought over like two, three good couple years. And his last couple fights have not been the greatest. I've seen like he fought some very, not the highest tier competition, not the guy that have fought, had the greatest success or, you know, greatest accolades or greatest skills. Wrestling look very weak. Wrestling, offense, and defense look very weak. Grappling, not the worst, but still nothing to write home about. Look very much like a guy, if anybody has some decent bit of wrestling, wrestled in high school, state champion, or um, maybe not even state champion, they just had some decent fundamental wrestling. They could just easily grind out a decision over him or tap him out. Some decent wrestling with some decent submission skill. Like, probably, like I said, no, don't need them very much to be able to put on a grappling pin against them. Like, look very soft, look very weak. They don't have very much power in his hands. Like, what is he good at? I don't know. I was not impressed. But hopefully, for his sake, that he'd been out all this time, he finally clicked and looked better because he's taking a huge leap up in competition after looking mediocre against less than stellar competition. So I don't know. Like I said, and Samelsberg does have a little bit of background in wrestling as well. He doesn't use it as much, but I feel like he can use it in this fight. And really, he probably don't need that. Like I said, I don't see no real great striking from him at all. I don't see no, nothing stand out from Sano. Striking looks low tier, grappling looks even lower tier. I just feel like Samuel Burger can beat him anywhere he wants. He go out there, power bomb, slam him on the ground, and ground and pound him and knock him out in the first round. He go out there, knock him out in the first round. But yeah, if I'm gonna pick first round knock, I don't think he's gonna play. Well. I'm thinking he's gonna get him, get him in, and get him out. Sano does got some heart, and he can be like decent. I mean, not, not decent. He can, like, I say he could, you know, extend it a little bit. But I feel like he's gonna get put out in the first round. If Samuel Burger want to put him out in the first round, he'll put him out in the first round. He wants to respect, say maybe, hmm, why is this guy here? Let me take it slow and dissect him and then put him away in the second round maybe he'll do that but i feel like he won't need to he can just go out there knock him out in the first round get him out be done with him so in this fight i had matthew samelsberger via first round tkl